I got to say, I watched the uh, Fresh Prince reunion and I just, I loved it. It was so great. It was so moving. And I, I wanted to ask you, I know folks are talking about uh, the, re- the reunion between Will Smith and Janet Hubert, yeah. but she had said something really powerful. She had said, um, the challenge of this industry being a black woman, being a dark skinned woman. And I wanted to know for you as a you know, brown skinned woman, have you experienced that colorism uh, in, in the industry in that way? Because when she said, I have so many actor friends, they were like, oh my God, she, she, she nailed it. Of, of that that kind of challenge. Have you experienced that? What's been your journey with that? Um, my journey has been, <clears throat> some has been, it's interesting, some has been, there's been colorism, but, you know, colorism, it's funny, you assume that colorism only comes from, you know, the white community, mm-hmm. and that it's sort of like, in you know, put upon us. But there's also colorism within the black community. And so, you know, I, I've, I've experienced that. I've experienced, and I wouldn't even call it, I don't even know if it's colorism or if it's like, are you black enough? That oh, wow. kind of stuff. Um, you know, in life, in, in work for sure. Um, you know, what do you just make it a little blacker? You know, or, or I recently, this is recent, where a character description said you know she's unapologetically black and I remember and I'm like that's an interesting thing to put in a description I I know what that means you know talking you know when I'm talking with friends or but how as an actor what do you what what does that what cues are you trying to tell like give me what does that mean about this character who you know happened to be like a corporate person who, I'm like, what does that look like to you? What does that sound like? What is that? So, so you know, I've dealt with those things, and and you know, it, you know, my my um, personal beliefs about how I would like to represent. Um, sometimes they don't match. Um, I've come across that. I, you know, I know I was I was um, I I heard when Janet said that. I know that other people have said that about her. I've seen that in social media, but I didn't know that she felt that way. You know, when we were working on the show together, I mean, we we always talked about how beautiful she was. She had, you know, makeup and hair people that were there for her. Um, when she does that that amazing dance sequence, yes, like, of course, you know, the leotard she was in. I, I hope that, I don't know, I, I just, I hope that she knows that for me as a young girl, like, I, I saw her with a spotlight on her, you know what I mean? That's, and that's how I thought she was being represented on the show. Um, you know, she was in terms of beauty and, you know, Black beauty and, and, and as a young Black child, um, I thought she was radiant. And I thought that we, and I thought the spotlight was on her, you know, and that was something that I wasn't used to seeing. So um, I hope, I, I don't know, I, I didn't get a chance to tell her that at the reunion, but um, if she hears that, I hope that gives her some comfort that, that you know, for, for the things that she went through, she meant a lot to, to a lot of people, to young people. Yeah, I have a friend of mine, I was watching the reunion with my friend and uh, he was saying it was a big deal for him as a kid. I mean, to see someone like Janet Huber in a mother figure on television. And, and we love all the other black moms that we've seen mm-hmm. on TV, but he, I remember him saying like, that was a big deal for me to, mm-hmm. to see her as beautiful, gorgeous as she was, you know, intelligent to see her as, as this mother figure. So uh, yeah, it was, it was fascinating when I, when I, I was just so happy she was so vulnerable because uh, we've had these conversations, some folks might say recently, but um, it's, it's been going on for a long time. It has colorism conversations have been going going on for a long time, and they're also they're very delicate. It's a, it's hard to have that conversation like out in the open when sisters haven't had that conversation, you know, together. And I've I've even been involved, <clears throat> kind of unknowingly, in projects that, you know, they're going to talk about colorism, but then at the same time they like further divide us, you know, and like continue to rank you as like. I did it. I, I, you know, did an interview, a part of something where I thought that 
all of the dark skinned girls and light skinned girls, like we were all going to, or so, so called brown skinned girls, whatever, we're going to be in the same project talking about this experience. And what ended up happening was, you know, I was like, I was put into the, the, the stories were split and I was put into a light skinned girl thing. And, 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 and there, you know, so people obviously talking about it, social media, whatever, like she thinks she's light skin, da, 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 doesn't she know? And, you know, the, at one point, even like an academic chimed in and said, well, her features are da, 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 you know, and so I could see the Eurocentric features. And I was like, oh my God, this is so hurtful. Like how, we're talking, you know, you're a part of some, you're ta- in a conversation in public about something that's very personal you know, my mother would be considered a dark skinned woman. My youngest sister would be considered light skin. My, I'm somewhere in the middle. My cousins, you know, like this is real stuff that happens in families. And, and, but in the mid, while talking about it now, we're going to separate, we're going to further, we're going to put the stamp, you know what I'm saying? Make the stamp official while you're going to break apart my features and the features of other people involved in the storytelling in order to, are we trying to prove that it really does exist after all? Or are we trying to say that, because the truth is, it's a construct. Like the truth is, it's not real, you know? It's not real, the judgments that we cast based on appearance. Those are false, they're based on false things. so, so yeah, so it's, it's very, very sensitive. It's very sensitive. And, and I do, I also hope, <clears throat> anyway, that's it. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> you didn't know you were opening up a can of worms, did you? <laughs> no, I appreciate you. Uh, what project was that? Or, or do you not want to say what project it was? It was, um, it was, it was dark skin girls uh, and, uh, and light skin girls. That's what it was. Yeah. And um, I know that that, project means a lot to people and sure. I'm, I'm happy that it does but um I was it was it was disappointing to me to I really I thought that I could speak on dark-skinned girls or light-skinned girls just like I think a light-skinned girl can talk about uh, because it's not real we're mm-hmm. all black women <laughs> you know we're all women under an experience having an experience you know what it's like to be cast into these categories yeah. And yeah, I thought that was disappointing that we were separated in the project itself under, and I don't know who decided what category I was supposed to, so supposed to be sorted into. Oh, so you didn't even know it would be separated with, I think I saw that dark skinned girl. You didn't know to be separated in that way. Like no, kind of. Uh, I, no, uh, I did not. Now uh, I'm not saying that anybody, you know, fooled me or whatever. Maybe right, I sure. didn't read the fine print. My right. assumption at the time was like, oh my gosh, I definitely want to talk about that. I have feelings about it and stories. And yes, I, I, and I really thought that I could speak to both. I had no idea I was going to be sorted. 